This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an 80mm wide armored shutter lock made by Squire. This model, ASWL2, appears to be nicely constructed. We have a bulky brass shutter lock on the inside. That brass is very weather resistant, but also very soft. That's why there's a hardened steel armor on the outside, to resist cutting, drilling, and prying attacks. This construction, therefore, attempts to combine the best of both worlds. We have the extreme weather resistance of brass and the resistance to brute force found in hardened steel. That's why this construction is quite popular in several European markets, especially in Italy. In the past, I've tested at least two or three dozen locks that look very similar to this, and there's been a wide disparity between the best and worst when it comes to pick resistance. I have to admit, though, that I was quite shocked to learn that Squire's entry into the field was among the worst. I've generally found their products to be above average in pick resistance, so this seems to be the exception to the rule. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to open this up using the Covert Companion with Turning Tool Expansion Pack that I sell over on CovertInstruments.com. We're going to use the 40 thousandths thick turner and one of the wave rakes. Okay, I'm going to put this in the bottom of the keyway. And let's see if we can rake this open. Just that quickly we got it open. Let's do it a couple more times so you can see this was not a fluke. Once again, that opened very quickly. And one last time. Okay, folks, I think you can see what I mean when I say that the pick resistance of this product is truly disappointing. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.